name is Dr. Mike Blaney. I'm a general and bariatric surgeon at Live Healthy MD in Augusta, Georgia. We are a comprehensive surgical and medical weight loss clinic. Uh, today on our YouTube channel, we're going to talk about uh, some common questions that we get asked. And one that we often get asked is how does um, surgery impact uh, diabetes? That's a really important question. You know, this is um, uh, interesting how things have changed over, particularly over the last decade or so. Um, actually, the cure, if you want to think of it, for diabetes is surgery, and that being the gastric bypass. We all understand that um, diabetes is a, is a disease that has to do with insulin, and in obese patients who have diabetes, we call that type 2 diabetes, they have a problem with how insulin um, controls their, their, their glucose levels. And we believe that excess adipose tissue negatively influences how insulin works in controlling our, um, our glucose levels in our body. And that's why an obese individual tends to have diabetes. Um, we, we believe that preventing food from touching the first part of the intestine does something uh, with insulin regulation and how it controls our glucose metabolism. And I'll personally refer to this with patients as the magic part to the operation. Um, we really look at these surgeries nowadays as metabolic surgeries, and that's why we call this the practice of, um, of metabolic surgery in our national society, the American Society of Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery changed their name to that you know, about a decade ago, recognizing the fact that we're not just doing surgery, we're not just uh, making the stomach smaller so an individual loses weight through portion reduction. Certainly that's a positive influence in terms of leading to weight loss, portion reduction, but we're really starting to think now that a more significant component to why patients lose weight after these operations is that we're changing hormones that regulate our metabolism. Now, as it relates to diabetes, we think that uh, preventing food from touching that upper part of the intestine called the duodenum is, uh, plays a significant role in why the gastric bypass and the duodenal switch leads to essentially curing diabetes for most type 2 diabetics. It's in these operations, the gastric bypass and the duodenal switch, that the way the intestinal tract is rerouted food will no longer have the opportunity to come in contact with the lining of the small intestine in the uh, upper portion called the duodenum. If you want more information about those operations, you can check out the other videos that we have posted where we go into detail about each of the procedures. The sleeve gastrectomy, an operation that we also perform, does not involve rerouting the intestine, so food will still come in contact with the upper part of the intestine. That's not to say that the sleeve's not effective at helping the diabetic patient, but it's not nearly as effective in my experience for resolving diabetes than the gastric bypass and the duodenal switch. So generally when I'm counseling patients about the different operations, um, and if a patient does have significant type problems with type 2 diabetes, I'll direct them more often to the gastric bypass and the duodenal switch, certainly if they're in the heavier weight ranges. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, give us a thumbs up and check out our other videos on our YouTube channel.